Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to pick that option, A-L-L, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view or when I go live to give out free messages in the chat line. So this is, as you know, a general reading, and that means that not every single card will resonate with every single one of you or the energy they carry. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But you know something? All that information is posted below this video in the description box. So there you go. All right, my beautiful, beautiful souls, let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Cancers. This is your reading for this week. Coming in here with your crowning energy, I'm really liking the crowning energy this week that's going to circulate around this entire reading and you've got the Four of Wands and the Four of Wands is all about celebration, okay? This is all about you enjoying some sort of happy occasion, some sort of happy event that may be coming into you. It could be numerous things. Oh, you know, it could be the, a wedding, an engagement, a graduation, the birth of a child, a shower, or, or just the energy around you that's finally lifted and you're seeing accomplishment and positivity coming into your circle. You're going to be also maybe celebrating something that you've bravely done or you've stepped up, up to do, you've achieved, okay, and be proud of yourself. You're also going to be letting go and breaking loose the chains of responsibility. You're going to be dumping emotional baggage. You're going to have reason to feel liberated feel free being able to free yourself from other people's expectations this is going to make you feel so good this week for some of you coming in uh, with your card that comes on top of this uh, clarification here you've got the king of swords and the king of swords is all about stepping up into your truthfulness he is the most powerful king in the zodiac of the kings okay he steps up he cuts through things he's emotionally stable he steps up and he said hey this is what's going to happen this is how i feel like it or lump it okay he's very powerful he knows what it is he wants and he doesn't play around with things he steps up and takes full control all right this is what you're going to be doing this week okay you're going to step into your own uh your own integrity you're looking at things very principled all right you're going to be articulate you're going to be direct and you're going to be just and you're going to be analytical and you're going to make fair judgment Okay, this is what's going to cause you liberation here. This is what's going to cause you to take a deep breath of, of satisfaction and relief because you're going to air exactly how you feel. Okay, uh, you're going to step up because you believe in, in your own standards and you believe in stepping up and doing the right thing. The right thing for you. All right, this is what you need to do. You're going to be able to see through the fog and get to the heart of a matter here right you're going to resolve any conflicts through the power of your own thoughts so step up take control of your life here you deserve to be happy okay and celebrate celebrate your independence uh, of being able to voice your opinion here and and step into your integrity and your truthfulness what is it you truly want cancer what is it you truly desire and need and you need to let that be known okay coming in with your first card here you have been given no, here we are. Coming in with your first card here. Sorry, I'm looking at things upside down. You've got the five of wands. Now, this is about competition, and sometimes competition is healthy, but I always say this is somebody poking you with a stick, somebody that wants to get your attention, but it's not always in a good way, somebody who's competing for something that you have or they want, somebody who wants to ride on your coattails, okay? Don't allow this. Okay, walk away. Uh, often I look at this competition as somebody who wants a sparring partner. Okay, walk away from it. That's how you're going to resolve this situation. 
it's not worth your effort. You've got the Knight of Cups, somebody coming in here to profess their love for you, somebody coming in here to uh, let you know how they feel about you, somebody that's going to pour their heart out to you this week. Oh, lucky girl. Um, I, this, you know, some of you are, maybe it's a true friend, a soulmate, or maybe it's actually, you know, maybe it's actually, you know, your knight in shining armor coming in. Okay. This is about, you know, you wanting to have something come into you come into you that's almost like you feel like you, you want it it's going to feel like you've been rescued okay you're going to feel like you've been rescued they may be coming in here uh to rescue you from this situation here that somebody's poking you a stick with right they could be coming in here and saying hey uh you know i'm on your side i understand what's going on here walk away from it hold your head high stand in your power of the king of the swords okay uh you know or you could be feeling like you want to dash off and, and rescue somebody but i truly believe that someone's coming in here to be an advocate for you okay uh somebody who cares for you somebody who's going to try to come in here and help you with this situation to clear the air you've got the two of wands the two of wands is beautiful the two of wands is all about you looking towards your future here and wanting to see success come into you keep this up okay this is about you feeling you have the whole world in your hands and you have this ability to move towards what you want it's not the world card but you need to know that you can embrace the new ideas widen your perspective keep yourself open to look towards what it is that you truly want in your heart what do you desire this is your personal power you know the, the two on this card represents the doubling strength or splitting power okay so it's time to take the bull by the proverbial horns and show you are a force to be reckoned with okay Two means that sometimes ra rather than merely doubling up your sense of power, you might have to share the power with someone else to make a success of your plans, right? So you might be dealing with somebody else here in business. You might be dealing with somebody else on a personal level, but you're going to step up and you're going to tell them you mean business here. You're going to, I mean, this King of Swords showed up here for a reason, all right? And look what you got, the Ace of Swords, success fighting through your battles and seeing victory coming in the gift of being able to stand in your truthfulness and your integrity now and that's what's going to free you is your truthfulness not only with somebody else you might be dealing with this week but with yourself what is it you truly want to do where is it you truly want to go are you on a teeter totter are you you know hot and cold are you should I or shouldn't I but this tells me you're stepping up you're definitely stepping up here and you're going to take the like I said you're going to take the bull by the horns and you're going to be able to get this gift of integrity coming into you truthfulness coming into you all right you're going to see clarity and truth you're going to be honest you're going to see justice come in believe in yourself don't doubt your motives or your intentions be ready to leap into action and be objective about your limitations okay face the facts and don't carry bitterness that's what this means okay you know there may be a problem that you have to resolve and life is never smooth but now is the time to analyze the situation and take the bull by the horns this whole reading is about you stepping up into your truthfulness and letting others know where they stand with you and what you want to do you know the opportunities coming your way may require more effort on your part but they will open up to new possibilities of success for you if you do this you might be coming into terms and facing a reality here some of you justice justice is going to be served you're going to make things known you're going to have things turn in your favor okay this is about justice being served maybe some of you are dealing with the legal system or you're involved in the legal system uh, you know you've had to defend yourself or you're you know you're closely linked to a situation like this but know when the justice card shows up it's a good card it means justice has been served and it's served and waived in your favor see what we got here uh, you've got the three of wands okay the three of wands beautiful so stepping up looking for your ship to come in dreaming and 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 having vision for your future to come in towards you in a beautiful beautiful new direction right this is about you this is wishful thinking but it's even more than wishful thinking because if you step up here if you step up and you look towards your goals with vision and positivity you know you're starting a new journey here this is what this is about you're looking towards your future to start a new journey all right and you know it's about taking risks rather than you know uh, you, you know just 
taking your time. It's about taking a step towards what it is you want. And this whole reading is about that cancer. What is it you truly want and going for it, okay? You know, it's almost as though you know what's going to happen next. Ha keep, keep your mind open, okay? Have that foresight. Have that, that open perspective, all right? Be aware of your intentions. What is it that you want to do? This could have to do with your job as well for some of you. You might be going on this journey towards wanting to change up your work, your career, your vocation. <laughs> Coming in in the now position in the center crowning position, you've got the Nine of Wands, right? The Nine of Wands is a card that speaks of, you know, um, having fought your battles, right? Um, you know, sometimes you feel vulnerable, right? You've had to defend yourself over situations for a while here and you're fear you're, you're worried okay you're remembering your past hurts you're holding that in and you're feeling worried about your future but I want you to step into your strengths not your weaknesses let the past go I want you to start looking forward to where it is you want to go all right where is it you want to go this is all about you cancer this week and you and you know what this is all about you you know developing strength through self-awareness be prepared for anything to happen. Also, it shows me you have suspicions of other people. You know, you're doubtful. Jeez, there's a lot of energy going on this week with you cancers, okay? So, um, step up, okay? You still have the insight to look forward to have this happen here. You're going on a new journey. You, you know, you're stepping up to voice your opinion here. You've got insight here. You've got a future looking to look forward to, right? And you've got someone here, someone here who wants to be there with you. So, just be patient. You can move forward through this. And there you go. There you go. Six of Swords. Troubled, leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. The battle's going to be over soon. Your hard, your hard fight, your hard struggles. Okay? Uh, all of those things are going to be over soon because you've made your mind up to move on into a calmer new direction. And you're going to take only those you want to go with you. All right, those that you care and love about. But this is a card that says the worst is over. Okay, you don't have to look back. Things are going to improve. Yes, there's still going to be challenges here with this direction you're going in. That's life, right? But you're going to get through it. Okay, because your all over card here is the Four of Wands celebration. Think about that. The crowning energy here is really good. And look what you've got. You know, you had the Knight of Cups. Now you have the ace of cups so the ace of cups is all about moving in a new direction here all about it knowing that something's coming into you that's absolutely amazing okay this could be love new love this could be in love with a situation just being totally totally uh in a in a fantastic place right now and i love the aces the aces are beginnings of all interesting things and this one is deep feelings for somebody else okay being in touch with your own personal emotions you want a deeper connection with somebody or something in your life okay your feelings have intensified and you're either falling in head over heels with love with somebody or something okay you might have this ability to have this happen here with this knight of cups right so, you know what, look at the aspects of your life where love might be lacking or working for you. Are you really in touch with your own feelings? Is it time to open up, sympathize with others, get closer to a friend, lover, or family member? Okay, are you giving too freely of yourself? Have you been taking, have you been taking too much on in a relationship that maybe you shouldn't have been? Okay, so these are all questions you need to ask yourself, Cancer, this week. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in with an offer, my dear friends, and it could be an offer to do with a job. Okay. Usually, when this Page of Pentacles shows up, it's a he's bringing you good news about money. Okay, setting the wheels in motion. It's a window of opportunity. Okay, but you have to go and look for it. Whether it's literally a new career or an enterprise or the chance for greater clarity within a relationship, it means let's go get on with the job okay know what it is you want this whole reading is about that finding yourself your purpose your goal the journey you want to go on boy this is a really complicated and intense reading cancer you very rarely hear me do readings like this but this is what the divine spirit gave you 
Okay, so um, I want you to step up and keep your eyes open. Maybe some of you are out there sending out your resumes for a new job. You want something that you're going to love and you're going to like right and I do think you can get that there's going to be a window of opportunity opening up for you whether it's in a relationship or it has to do with your career but often he brings news of, of money good news of money okay prosperity okay what have we got here well this is not okay here we go we're going here you've got the high priestess and the high priestess is able to look behind the veil the smoke and mirrors she doesn't look at life through rose colored glasses she sees it head on but she has this ability to have this amazing intuitiveness about her that she can see things before they even happen this is about you keeping your eyes open right now see clarity okay you're going to see clarity and truthfulness coming in here this week you're going to take control of that okay because that's where your happiness is going to lie right um, and you're moving on and you know away from the trouble now you're going to see things because justice is going to be served and you're going to be able to move forward into your new world on your new journey here to happiness so keep your eyes open trust your instincts because that's the biggest thing that you can lean into right now and she's so good at that she's almost psychic she knows what's going to happen and what she senses generally does and so you, you know she stands in that trust with of her intuition and, I, and that's what I want you to do this week trust your intuition and you might be dealing with things where you have to be strong but you're going to be strong with you know gentleness consideration kindness compassion forgiveness okay this is the card that says you know we can kill your enemies with kindness or you you can catch more bees with honey right rather than vinegar so there's going to be some situations that you're going to have to deal with this week but you're going to step back and you're going to take a deep breath and you're not going to go in there with your guns blaring okay you're going to try to understand the situation more all right that's what's going to bring you to your peace here because you know there's things going on in the background all right and you're not going to want to you know attack the messenger so to speak okay you have the knight of wands coming in here so you've you know you've got a lot of court cards coming in here you know between kings and knights and and you know you, you're moving forward okay even with the page of pentacles so you know when the knight of wands shows up this is about you taking a hold of the reins okay this is about you the offer comes in from you know the offer comes in from the page and now you got to act on okay this is all about you going towards it all right this is about you getting going right now you might be impatient but when this knight of wands comes in he wants to charge in and go towards his goals and maybe things aren't moving as fast as you want them to okay all right but know that you need to be a bit more daring. You need to step up. You need to, uh, you know, you need to voice your opinion this week and you need to go towards your goals, okay? Um, this is also often referred to as a knight in shining armor coming in, okay? Comes dashing in, uh, you know, and shows up out of the blue and you have to be ready for it, okay? So, for some of you, it'll have to do with that. You've got the emperor. This is you. You have the lead here. You have control of where it is you want to go absolutely and you're stepping into your truthfulness your integrity uh, and also you're trusting your intuition now and you're moving forward okay you're making yourself clear you're opening up and you're you're setting your intentions for the world and the universe or those around you to understand exactly how you feel about a situation and he does everything right and that's you doing what's right for you taking the leadership of your life this is your life cancer this is your journey step up go towards what it is you want okay taking the lead there whether it's your job your career a relationship whatever it is it's all designed for your happiness but look what you got here wow your last card here you end up with the three of swords but I'm gonna tell you something usually I refer to the three of swords as to betrayal sadness defeat disappointment okay it's also about getting to the heart of a matter all right it's also about feeling like you're torn between some of you might feel like you're torn between two lovers okay it's discovering something truthful a painful truth um, you know feeling others are out to hurt you being cheated on you the fear of losing your partner this is a lot of doubt you're carrying here cancer but I think you're stepping up here I think you're stepping up here and you're laying it on the line all right you can get to the heart of any situation and sort it out but it does require complete self-awareness all right when we feel let down 
in love, we feel betrayed and emotionally hurt, our world suddenly seems unjust and we're heartbroken or fearful of losing someone. All these experiences have something in common and that is that we suffer alone. Thinking that we're the only one who feels these feelings and we believe no one has ever felt what we feel. It's good old logic reason, right? Okay. But if you examine your issues with care, talk to others and realize that your pain is someone else's pain too, it can lead to a better understanding of yourself and someone else. Okay, so stop feeling wounded here. Step up into your truthfulness. Step up into the power of your own integrity here. Trust your intuition, okay? You, you're healing through this. You can get through this. What have we got here? Keep working towards your goal. All right, whether it's, you know, this usually refers to working towards your goal in a position, a profession, your vocation, your job, your career. And for those of you that are doing that, don't feel that you have a loss here. Just because things aren't coming into you as quickly with your job, don't worry so much about it. Because if you stay focused, if you stay motivated, if you stay determined to get what it is you want and to work towards that end, you'll get it. Okay, even if it has to do with a relationship here you'll get it but you're gonna have to keep your cool right you're gonna have to keep your cool here when you're doing it okay quite an intense reading cancers I'm sorry but I want you to remember this truth is going to set you free and this was your crowning energy celebration okay so think about that stop holding in what you need to express but when you do it Okay, don't be unkind about it, all right? Okay, let's see what you need to surrender to. Well, that would be nice, surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times. Keep surrendering to joy. So don't get yourself stuck in that, that gloom and doom and that blue area. Okay, it's easy. I get it. Some of you are struggling with things. You know, it could be career. It could be relationships. It could be anything. But know that even through our, our trying times, we need to look at life through the lens of positivity. You know what? Throw that out into the universe because that's what we get bounced right back at us. You're stepping into your truth here. You're going to articulately and creatively be able to express yourself this week uh, with situations or people around you and that's what's going to free you. That's what's going to bring you this beautiful uh, beautiful uh, reason to celebrate. I think justice is going to be served. That's going to help. Uh, you're still looking towards your vision and your goals and knowing that the world is yours and you can move towards it. Absolutely. I think you've got this knight of cups coming in here and also, you know, uh, you know, you're going to be able to see things happen here for you. Absolutely. Okay. Stepping up. You're taking control of your life now. <laughs> you've got vision. Absolutely. Okay, this is uh, your guardian angel telling you that you need to set your vision high. You need to still have hope and dream about it. Okay, this message is about honoring your vision. It asks you to trust the mental images that you've been receiving as their answers to your prayers. And your prophetic visions will bring blessings to you and your loved ones. You know that you're, you know, you know that you've got divine spirit around you protecting you at all times. All right, so have this also this could refer to eyesight okay I have to put this in here because it does say vision so if any of you are having any issues with your vision or your eyes make sure you get to the doctor and you get that checked okay so you know I want you also to look through the eyes of your guides and the ones that love you the divine uh, see yourself for who you truly are and that's through the eyes of them okay your spirit guides and, and your angels and the divine now, coming in with the seven, uh, the Oracle of the Seven Energies, you have been given seeing beyond. Well, we talked about the Empress here, didn't we? Or, yeah, the High Priestess, rather, here. So, there are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from the face value, all right, um, you know, perspective, you know, what you see is what you get. And the second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't yet exist in the material world. This is cosmic playground of possibilities. You see into the future where anything you imagine has a potential to become real. Today, know that your vision, what you imagined forming in the invisible will be delivered into the material world. So stay positive, okay? You know, focus on what it is you truly want, your desire this week, whatever that is, 
okay and know that if you keep moving towards that goal it's going to manifest for you don't worry about the timing of things this is in the hands of the universe your job is to continue to imagine take a few steps forward then imagine some more okay the universe job is to make it real that's the partnership here when we throw something out into the universe you know, is it negativity and we wonder why every day we get up we feel down and we, we feel confused and we feel, you know, uh, we just can't seem to see a positive in our day. But if we get up every day and we say thank you for this day, thank you for the air I breathe, thank you for the gift of life, right? Those are only three things that you can say. It's amazing how your, how your day changes and shifts. Stay positive. If you've had an ultimate goal that you truly is, you truly love, you're passionate about, it's a desire that you really want. Then move towards it. Throw it out into the universe. Manifest that it's already here. And you'll see it come. All right. Let's see what we have here from our tea leaf messages. As you can see, I have this huge bag. It's very difficult to shuffle these. So I'm working around here. And I'm asking Spirit to give me the message that cancer needs. Okay. This is what you've got. You've got unicorn. Use your intention to make beneficial changes. Ha! Is that not the perfect card to show up for this reading cancer? Absolutely. Step up into your power. Step up into your truth. Voice it. Make it clear. Be your own leader this week. Do what's right for you. But remember, do it with kindness. Okay? Not with hurtfulness. Right? And you'll see it's going to cause the changes that you want to benefit you. Well, my beautiful Cancers, this was an intense reading, but at the end of the day, I want you to think about keeping your vision, keeping focus, knowing that you're going to have reason to celebrate. Justice is going to be served here. All right, you put hard work into something here and know that, you know, it, you know, your tr the truth is going to free you. All right. You, you know, to be able to move towards your beautiful new future here and have some fun. It's time to get out there and enjoy life. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. All right. Never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, and all the times you wanted to give up, but you thought about it and you didn't. You got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenges. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers and blessings are that you stay in continued spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical good health. Please play safe, be safe, and stay safe. And I'll see you soon.